everybody, welcome to today's update on daily IoT. Quick hockey update, we made it through the first round. I almost died from the stress of it. Capitals went down to nothing, then won four straight to take the series. Uh, lots of overtime games, and I just, my heart cannot handle this time of year. It's like, uh, I'm irrationally emotional about all of this. And as fate would have it, we now meet the Pittsburgh Penguins in round two. Again, we are one in nine all time in that series. So uh, it's going to be a rough next week and a half uh, if it even takes that long. I don't know. It's stressful. So that's the hockey update. Uh, product hockey puck update. I still hate the GPL license. I've made a video about this before. You can see my rant on that uh, that clarifies that I'm not anti-open source. You can check my GitHub. I make open source. I've contributed to open source. Not anti-open source. I am anti-GPL. And so what's happening now? So I'm working on the firmware. I'm trying to, before I get hardware complete, I don't want to do too much with firmware until I have the actual hardware, but I'm, I'm looking at different things that I'm going to have to solve, different problems that I'm going to need to solve in firmware. And so doing some research there. And the most recent of which is images for the screen. So um, screen assets, whether that's like a low battery indicator or certain numbers or graphics and things like that. And currently I'm storing those in uh, flash memory on the photon as I'm prototyping. And uh, so it's part of the firmware. If I want to change those assets, it's a firmware update. And I was trying to think of better ways to do that. Can I download things from the internet? If I did, where would I put them? And uh, in that research, I found that the P1 module, which will be the center of the puck, has one megabyte of flash, SPI flash, just sitting there on the module that, as far as I can tell, is unused by the particle um, operating system. So they don't use any of that. It's literally just this giant space of flash that's there that you can use. However, Particle doesn't have an abstracted library to access it, which I feel like is crazy. Like if you're gonna have that as part of your thing that you want people to use in products, why wouldn't there be an abstraction layer that people could easily use? Like digital read and digital write are, are, are abstraction layers around IO. Um, there's an SPI abstraction layer, an I squared C abstraction layer, and then this giant space of flash memory no abstraction layer. Now, down in the source code, there is information on how to access it. The old Spark core used to use external flash uh, to run programs. Uh, with the Photon, they switched that paradigm. Everything is now on board to the STM uh, module, I think is right. But anyway, they don't use that external flash concept anymore. However, it exists on the P1, but there's no abstraction layer documented. Uh, which is crazy because I would love to use this space for screen assets. So I start looking, hey, is there, did somebody write an abstraction layer around this? And it turns out, yes, there is a library that everybody in the community forum likes to reference. It's called the flashy EEPROM uh, library. So I was like, great, this thing takes care of where leveling and read and write. And it's, it's a beautiful abstraction, abstracted interface for accessing this uh, flash area. And then I find the license. It's not GPL, it's a Faro GPL, which is new to me, but turns out worse than GPL. So quick reminder for those that don't know, uh, the way the GPL license works is if you've written all of this awesome source code that is does all these fancy things that you created and new ideas and patterns and things like that, and then you need, let's say, just a real small library to convert I don't know, convert numbers from one format to another. It's just a little part of your entire project. If that source code is GPL and you use it in your project, your whole project becomes GPL, which means now you have to release your source code to the public. And from uh, the perspective of somebody making a product, I hate that idea. Um, again, I'm not open source. I just hate that if I use some small thing, it infects my entire software. And so, I guess there was a loophole in the GPL license that if you did network usage, if you delivered things over a network of some sort, I'm not super um, in the know on how this works, but there was a loophole that you didn't have to release your source code. Well, the Afero GPL license took care of that 
closes the loophole. It's even more restrictive and infectious than the GPL library. And so that is what this person decided to license the Flash EE prom library under. And so it seems like at every turn when I need some thing that's not core to my idea, it's just sort of an appendage to, an, hey, I need access to this um, external flash and things like that, or I need um, to uh, just a simple HTTP library. Everything seems to be GPL. And so I, I get it. I can hear it already. Oh, we're so sorry that you can't take somebody else's hard work, use it for free and make money off of it. I completely hear what you were saying and that is not what I am suggesting at all. I'm not suggesting, hey, everybody else do the hard work, I'll just cobble it together and make money. Although, I will say that there is something to be said for taking disparate parts and creating something that's greater than the whole. There is some creative effort to that that I think is valuable and can be worth money. But that's not what I'm arguing in this case. What I am arguing is I would, I would pay money for a library. So if somebody had written a very nice compatible flash library that lets you access the P1 external flash, I would pay money for that to save me time because it's not central. The The functionality I need is important to my product, but it's not the central P, like that piece of software is not what I'm making money off of. I'm making money off of a memorabilia item that happens to need access to external flash. And so, this isn't about me asking for free to make money on. This is, I would just, I would love if somebody had this and would charge me money for it. Hey, you wanna use my library? Just like software, right? And it sort of highlighted to me that how firmware maybe is still in its infancy as far as productizing and paying. So this was, this happened back in the day. For those that are familiar with the story, Bill Gates was very vocal about, guys, there's value in the, intellectual property that you're creating by writing software. It doesn't all have to be free. And that was hugely unpopular at the time and for many people still is. But he was saying, you're putting real work into this. You should be paid for it. And I think that that's true for firmware as well. If I write a really great driver for the screen that I put a lot of work into and I'm doing bug fixes and things like that, if that's providing other people value in their product, I think it's perfectly fair to pay for. Now, a lot of people disagree with that and they think software shouldn't belong to anybody, it should belong to everybody. And that's, I think, just a philosophical difference. For me, that's fine when I don't have to pay an electric bill or buy my kids shoes. Um, but as long as I have to do that, the world revolves around having some sort of basic income to provide for basic needs. And if that for me, works by having intellectual property that I create and provide value to other people. It's just a value exchange, I guess is, is how I see it. If, if I'm making your life simpler or saving you time, providing you value and you think it's worth it, I think it's fair to ask for money for that in any industry. And so anyway, I don't want to get too much into that long rant. I'm just, I would like the option, like I said, even to just pay somebody for a library. And I get it, I could hire somebody to write one, but at that point, the time commitment is still there. I could do that, I could write the library. Um, I just, I would like it now, and I would like to pay for it if I had that option. And so anyway, that is the status of the project, just GPL at every turn, and I hate it. Uh, question of the day, we'll go back to hockey because I can't think of anything else. Uh, what do you have prediction-wise for round two of the playoffs, which start today when this video drops? Would love to hear your thoughts. Stick it in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you're finding this journey interesting or valuable, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do hit the subscribe button, please send me an email, kevin at sidwar.com. I would love to hear where you're from, why you subscribe. Just know that there's a person on the other end of that button. Thanks so much for watching Daily IoT, the show where together we're learning how to make the Internet of Things one day at a time.